Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. This video is going up on a Monday, so hope you had a good week. I had a busy one myself. It is great to be back. We're going to have big meetups on both Xbox One and PS4 this week, so make sure to subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification button. That'll let you know whenever the meetups begin. So in today's video, we're going to look at two separate locations. One lines up with a real-life location, and if you watch the video where I covered Serpent Mounds, and how it has a connection to the Crystal Skulls. If you missed that, I'll put a link in the description. But it shows you that Rockstar was very particular about the locations that they put in the game. And there's another one just like it. One that lines up with a really crazy real life story and that is the Viking Tomb. So I'll talk about that. But first we have to visit a location that I literally just found for the first time the other day. Now what makes this place so interesting Easy is that there. it has one of the biggest caves in the entire game, where in this case, it's a mine shaft. You can find it on Mount Hagen. I'll meet you guys there. You're going to want to make it to this creek, which you can find right here, and follow a trail that leads you to an area called Milasani Claim. Now, some of you guys may have found this, but I played through the game twice, including once getting 100%. And I never came across this location. And it's got a couple of very cool things, including probably the best hidden message in the game. So here we are, guys. You got this i guess this is like a small warehouse and then you got the mine shaft right here first we'll go into this shack and here of course is the place on the map milisani claim and mine shaft but inside the cabin you can find a cigarette card now those are everywhere so it's nothing too big but in this case we have one of the old western thoughts agnes guyon too bad we can't find her maybe she's out there somewhere and I'm going to head inside the mine shaft. Now, I explored this place in online. That's how I found it. I was actually exploring it with the Trippy Gang. So I've not really looked at it too much in single player. I guess we'll go in here first. This is actually interesting, guys, because inside, you can find a bunch of explosives. So I'm not sure what this was about. I will point out that it's not too far away from Micah's hideout. So perhaps Micah came over here. Maybe this is one of his secret operations. What is that? Is that an old Western Jack or something? Let me know in the comment section below if you know what any of this stuff is. We definitely have a ton of TNT. Let's head inside the mine shaft. Before we head deep inside, do me a huge favor and hit the like button as YouTube is now pushing the more family friendly channels. And we're covering Rockstar games, which tends to be extremely edgy. So unless you want us to cover Minecraft mysteries, definitely hit the like button. That helps out. So to the left, we have some mine carts. In Red Dead Redemption 1, you could actually get in and ride the Minecraft in certain situations but I've not seen that in this game so far. Let's follow the track. I believe there's gonna be a fork in the road and then we can go further down underground. Okay, so that one goes to the right. That might head back to the entrance. We'll check that out in a moment. So let's see where this leads. For such a big cave, it's just kind of interesting how it seems to be mostly unused. You do have the hidden message, which is right there. It says, a fool on command. Now, if you put that hidden message in the cheats menu, it'll make you insta-drunk. So, I think that might be the best cheat. So, this leads back. Yeah, that's where it went underground. It kind of just looped around. And then I think this was the light that we saw from the fork in the road from here. So, we will go this way. I don't know what to make of it. All right, so this just leads to the same place, right? I don't know. I'm completely lost. Let's check out the map. Okay, so you got the underground area right here where the cheat code can be found. Then for the most part, it's just some loops. Like I said, with me just finding this, it was just surprising how big it is. And at least in Red Dead Online, they can make use of a space like this. But it also gives me kind of a hint that we might actually get some sort of big DLC. There's so many locations that we're still finding, and it shows you that this game has so much that there's probably a lot of secrets that even you guys have not seen so far. You got a small doorway. This goes to the right. And then back underground, right? Yeah, so that leads to the cheat code as well. So there you have it. Did Rockstar mean to not use this place? It's got the cheat code, and that is it. Let me know if you have any thoughts about Milisani Claim. We have gotten struck by lightning by wearing the Viking artifacts. I'll play a quick clip of that, then I'll meet you at the tomb, a place that exists in real life. Here's what I had to do. I went to the Tesla Tower to trigger the lightning storm. I then raced back. There's bolts coming left and right. A lot of thunder. So hopefully this works. Come on, just hit us. Jeez, 
teeth. That looks like an abduction beam in the distance. What? It worked! We got struck. We got struck by lightning. There you go. Wow, I was not even expecting it. I was about to give up. And we got struck. So, there you have it, guys. We proved it. That is where you can probably do it yourself. But it might take patience because I was actually waiting for that lightning storm for quite a while. Here we are at the old tomb. I know you've all been here before, but just in case, that's where you can see it for yourself. Be careful because I've been mauled by a cougar here several times. Now, this is what makes Rockstar next level. They're representing a little known part of history right here in Red Dead Redemption 2. You got to think about the Vikings coming all the way over from Norway and Europe. Now, there is a stone right here. If you read that stone, it has a Viking language that talked about how the Vikings came all the way over here and then left it to the Native American people. But if you look at this tomb, they left because apparently a lot of them died. The Native Americans went to battle with the Vikings. And here we have the Viking tomb. This is something that really happened, guys. So Rockstar put this small reference so we'd all understand that the Vikings are even part of the American history. You just saw me use the Viking artifacts, the helmet, the comb, and the hatchet to get struck by lightning. So it already made this place pretty important, but it also aligns to the Vikings in real life. Here's an interesting story posted by Underground Science. Now, I'm not going to read the entire article, but it does have some interesting sections that will sound familiar. USA ruins a Viking settlement discovered near Hudson River. And then here it says during their search of the site, the archaeologists have discovered nine skeletons who are identified as four adult males, two adult females, and three children. Only one of the male warriors had been given a proper burial, being placed in a tomb with his weapons and belongings. That, of course, sounding identical to the tomb in Red Dead Redemption 2. Several artifacts were also found on the site, suggesting the inhabitants of the site who survived the attack must have left hastily, of course, just like in Red Dead. These include a dozen of pieces of jewelry like brooches, pins, and arm rings, mostly made of silver and walrus ivory. The archaeologists also unearthed iron pots, potteries, oil lamps, tools, a whetstone, coins, as well as a few broken weapons and pieces of armor. But you get the point, guys. Rockstar... Put this tomb to represent that the Vikings came to America and then left. Imagine how different it would be if the Vikings actually conquered the Indians and took over America for themselves. Like I said, guys, I did not even know that the Vikings came to America before Red Dead Redemption 2. So who knew that Red Dead would be such an educational game? The article ends by saying that scientists believe that the settlement could indeed be the legendary Norse colony known as Vinland mentioned in the Icelandic sagas. Based on the idea that the name meant Wineland, historians had long speculated that the region contained wild grapes. Wild grapes were indeed still growing in the many areas of the Hudson Valley. Now I gotta say, I have not found any wild grapes in Red Dead Redemption 2, but that could be the case. So the archaeologists believe that this could really be the colony described in the mythological saga. In other words, it's not just any Vikings that came all the way to America. It sounds like it's the most badass Vikings of all, mentioned in the Icelandic sagas. Who knew that the Vikings would have an influence on Red Dead Redemption 2? They give us the ability to get struck by lightning, and we got the authentic Viking tomb, and that must be the one warrior who was given the proper burial. Let me know if you guys have any other locations. Now, Serpent Mound and the Viking tomb have been aligned with real-life stories. I'm sure there's others in the game. Hit me up anytime on Twitter, guys. Much love. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. We're going to have some big live streams all week long. So I hope to see you guys there. Stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries. And as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?